what's up guys so tonight we're gonna do a late night unboxing so i went to the mall earlier and i went up picking up some stuff i'll go over some stuff that i picked up in the mall tomorrow uh today we're gonna be checking out this box this care package was sent to me by uh total fashion sense maggie at over total pass total fashion sense and she sent this over uh thank you again mags for this i appreciate that uh like it's a lot of good good stuff in here so uh, we're gonna go through this and just check out what she sent and um uh, let's chill out for a little bit so came in this box here opened the box but i haven't gone through anything yet oh wow got a nice little blue velvet bag in here that's pretty cool um oh got a lot of different samples in here some bdk a lot of different samples in here wow listen it's a lot of goodies in here yo I mean, just big T. I know I'm going to enjoy that. Is it algebra? Algebra Parfums. Poetic Sense of Damascus. I mean, we got a lot of stuff in here, bro. Well, let's go ahead and get everything out of the wrap so we can go through everything that was sent. I got a lot of stuff, yo. And I'm keeping this bubble wrap. This can go ahead, come in handy when I'm sending off my packages as well. I will be keeping those. There's, there's more stuff in here, like. Ah, please. We got some of these here. This came in a little baggy. This is Do It For Love by Killian. Oh, wow. Oh, this is Killian's line. Oh. Got some nice little atomizers here from Killian. Keeping those bubble wraps. And these are from another baggie and this is from uh is it sergey sergey Luton. got some bdk in here so good some effinescence this is what does it say Oh, Shea and Blue Salt Caramel. I was wanting to see what that smelled like. I can't wait to check that out. Nice amount of samples over here with these. Let's see what's inside of this blue, blue satchel right here. Listen, shout out to Mags. Magtown hooked me up. For real. Oh. Versace arrows for women. Oh, wow. I'll let my wife check this one out. It's a nice little mini sized bottle, though. Look at that. Not too bad.
This is Reset by Lubin Afomer. The Lubin or Lubin? I want to say Lubin. Lubin. It looks like it's more so marketed toward females, so I might definitely take a couple sniffs and more than likely my wife will have at that one. Um, we have this from Effinescence, Body Parfum, Vanilla, is it Benzoin? This is so cool, yo. Got a 20 anniversary edition from Mikolov. Nice. Now, I probably won't be able to go through and smell each one of these. Well, you know what? We might be able to. Let's have to pull out some, some um, test strips. A lot of them. So the first one that I want to try out, actually, is this one here. This fig and tea. I definitely want to check this one out by Nikolai. Osmathis, Absolute, Jasmine, and Mate. Is it mate or mate? I see the little asterisk right above that E. So we're going to try this out because I'm interested. Actually, I could just spray the actual case it came in atomizer works really <laughs> a little too well oh my god oh man it smells good i caught a whiff of that before i even tried to oh man that is so good it's almost like a it's almost like a fig champagne like a fig tea champagne Oh, that is beautiful. God, I gotta try that on skin. Mm. Yeah, that is really nice. It's so refreshing. It smells like a champagne, like a tea infused champagne. You know, floral, it's not real fruity. There's a fruity aspect to it, but it's not real fruity, more so a floral um if it is fruity like blossoms and then like a nice champagne but like it's almost flat like an almost flat fruity tea champagne this is good mm. yes i'm gonna have to find that Look on Lucky Sense or something. That's beautiful. God, it is beautiful. And you see some people who can make some gorgeous scents, yo. We're going to try. Vanille. Vanille. Benzoin. I 
I believe that's how you say it. The knee the knee join. If I'm not uh butchering the name. Oh, that's the wrong paper. It's the one. Okay. That's like really smooth. Got that resonance sort of deal going on. Creamy, airy, really, really airy, really light. It's like light but full at the same time. Hmm. That's different. It's a Tahitian Vanilla Absolute, Siamese Benzoin, Ambroxan, Tonka Bean, Moroccan, and Chinese Cedar. I get that Tonka Bean, like a little bit of that spice from that, uh, and a little bit from that Benzoin. That's unique. I'm not really catching as much of it as I would like. Let me try it on the strip. Showing up really light. I was catching a little bit of it at first. It was showing up really light. There it is. And I got my coffee beans with me as well. And this will be one of those videos that I probably won't edit. And um, we'll just chill. Just hang out with me and just chill with me. It's not a live. And I didn't want to do a live because I didn't want to be answering a bunch of questions. And chit-chatting. It was, you know, just kind of wanted to go through these. And um, just chill out. You know, We're going to try out the Mikolov 20th anniversary. Uh, it looks like subtle cocktail with notes of white roses, transparent jasmine, divana, orange blossom, supported by warm notes of patchouli, caramel, and precious woods. I'm in. As soon as I saw caramel, I'm in. Just let me check it out. Oh, check this out. Yes. Ah, yes. Oh, man. Oh, man, that is so unique, yo. You get that orange, but it's, like I said, it's a, it's a floral orange. There's a slight, subtle spice going on. The florals come in and add, like, a really full floral experience where it's sort of juicy. I love when florals are able to do that where they come together and it doesn't feel real floral and powdery or annoying. Um, it, but it's real full and juicy smelling. That caramel come in just really chill, kind of milky in the background, but not too much. And then those woods come in and just kind of carry everything else. It's so well done, yo. Beautiful. Wow. Now I got to buy this. I like this because it, it kind of exposes me to new fragrances. I skipped right over the designer and started kind of diving into the niche world. But it was most of the ones that I know that everybody else know. The Parfum de Marley's, the, the Creed's, uh, if that's even considered, you know, niche. Uh, Amouage, um, or some other niche brands that I've gotten into. Bond, you know, just, you know, I was kind of diving into some of the basic ones that you typically see people ask about. And I was, I was okay with that. Uh, Killian. Um, I think this one is a Killian niche, um, dupe as well. Angel share, Zerzhov, stuff like that. I was kind of getting into those and uh, a little further away from the designer. Um, so learning just different different ones, different niche brands and indie brands 
I'm always for that. And this one is phenomenal. Oh, it smells beautiful. It kind of got, like, got a little bit of a booziness to it as well. That's beautiful. So I'm going to try to keep this desk organized. Um, That's friend hit me up on Facebook. I'm going to holler at him later. We checked out the vanilla. Let's check out... I want to try all the ones that got cards with them so that I can spray the cards. <laughs> so this one is the Algebra. This is Scent of Paradise. Extract up our farm. Nice little packaging and everything with it. Does it give any info? Pop notes, fruity notes, bergamot, iris, and rose. This just a little closer to me so I won't. Like I'm so far away. Fruity notes, bergamot, iris, and rose, amber, musk, and sandalwood. Okay. Very well balanced. Like I said, fruity. Got some iris, a little bit of powdery, some floral. Then you got some amber, some musk, and wood. Pretty versatile. Oh yes, that is. It reminds me of Millicent Imperial. That's the first thing it reminded me of though. It's just sweeter. It's sweeter, smoother, and creamier, but this reminds me of Millicent Imperial. Oh, it's beautiful though. It's much, it's much more, uh, it has more character to it. sweet it's smooth it's creamy airy it got that fruity vibe to it as well it's musky the sandalwood comes in and most times sandalwood isn't really like a really loud woody scent it's just a really nice carrier for those bottom notes and it adds some sort of vibe and character to it but it's not completely noticeable it's not always that you'll just be able to smell it and be like sandalwood Oh, man, that is beautiful. Everything she sent me so far is beautiful. Golly. Algebra. Scent of Paradise. Boy, is it. That smells great. Which one has a card? What is that? We'll try out this one next. Is that Lubin? Off of mail? Does it show anything about notes? Uh, let's see. The first kiss beneath that awning sealed a promise truer than any vow. Citrus notes of grapefruit, bergamot give away to a simple bouquet of Moroccan and Bulgarian roses. Discreet heart notes of orris oil are cloaked in an incense and hints of cedarwood with touches of musk and amber melt into the scent of Madagascan Vanilla Absolute. This sounds like this is going to be delicious. So let's get into that. I like when a people, a person or a company can describe their fragrance and it actually fits the description. Nothing worse than somebody giving you a really fluffy description and then it's the flattest scent in the world. Hmm, really, oh, really airy. Really soft, airy. Let me try to get a better spray on here. It wasn't as much citrus as I was expecting. I get this I get the woods and the musk, a little bit of the citrus. Hmm. That's different. I probably have to smell this on skin. 
Like I said, I get the airiness, it's creamy, slight citrus, but I mainly get the woods and a little bit of the musk. We'll try out that one maybe tomorrow. This one here is called Mile High 38. Has what appears to be the cannabis logo on the front. I wonder, is there any cannabis in here? Um, uh, I don't think it shades say, states anything. We'll open it up. Give it a spray. Oh, it's really nice. It's like musky, sweet. It's kind of got, got a little bit of a stickiness to it. Almost a syrupy sweet. It's actually really pleasant. The syrupy kind of sweetness. It's musky, smooth. It's like it's kind of syrupy. I like that. Let's see here. Yeah, that's good. Set that to the side. Is it happy? I feel like that's just a little too easy for it to be that. Gonna be some like a pyong or something like that. Here. Yulami? Yulami? I don't know. Up yang. Wanna see whether it listed any notes? No notes. Open this up. Yeah, that's really, 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 really fresh. And like, got a lot of freshness, a little bit of a sweetness there. Almost a bubblegum like sweetness. There's a sweetness, it's a musk going on, like a really light one. Could be a white musk. Um,. I wonder if there's like a tonka bean in here. It smells like I'm picking up a tonka bean, but I could be off. Like a bergamot, tonka bean. There's something like really sweet though. Could be a sweet floral. I'm not sure if I'm catching anything like vanilla so far as the sweetness, but there's something sweet in here, and I don't know if it's necessarily like a fruit that's adding that. But it's really nice, really clean, but it's not sharp, smooth, airy, creamy. It got like this really bubblegum kind of sweetness to it. Really high-pitched sweetness. It smells like there is something else fresh in there. I just can't place what it is. That's super enjoyable though. Atomizer came with the cap. Put that back on. Let's see here. Is 
this one is is it Isabel? Bon actor, body perform. It looks like it says Isabel. I could be mispronouncing it. Omer de Paris. Open this up. Uh, she must have liked this one. This one got a few uses out of it. Yeah, Max must have liked this one. Let's see what this smells like. Oh yeah, that's really, really, really soft. A light, airy musk. I wonder if there any like geranium or iris in here. Cause it's kind of giving off like a powdery, but slightly sparkly vibe. That's really nice. The floral is really a high pitch floral, really high pitch. You can tell it's just it's just really floral to the nose. Um, not in a juicy way, but in a really sort of sharp way. I guess as sharp as florals can get. Got a little bit of a sweetness, that powderiness, that sharp floral, light floral kind of vibe. And it has a musk in there as well. It's really nice, really pleasant. This one leans a little bit more feminine, but it's not, you know, something that will kick a guy out of the party. Listen, I can see why she's been wearing this one quite a bit, though. It's super pleasant. I can imagine somebody smelling this on you, light spring day, summer day. That smells really good. Super pleasant. Kind of got like a slight uh, bubblegum kind of vibe to the sweetness as well. This one here is a BDK. Rouge smoking. Did it list any notes? Nope. Let's try this out. Nice color to that juice. Nice little color there. Hmm. There's some patchouli in here. Because it kind of got that chocolatey kind of vibe, but it's no doing well, it's probably not chocolate. You got a chocolate kind of vibe. You got a tobacco kind of vibe. But you don't know whether it's like a different spice that's maybe adding that, like a cardamom or something like that. It smells really neat, like a tobacco leaf, more than it just is tobacco. It's really nice, kind of got like a, a spicy kind of vibe, some sweetness in there, some creaminess in there. That sounds like there's some vanilla in here as well. Super nice. Yeah, that's super nice. It could possibly be tobacco and tonka bean. It, it's really got a nice chill spice to it, to where it's not overpowering. Hmm. And that is brew smoking. Really nice. I wonder what my autofocus actually work and what I not have to keep readjusting. Yeah, I think it, I might have to keep readjusting. <laughs> <laughs> it 
it's trying to work. All right, I'm gonna adjust it. So this is Thamin Peregrina. Thamin London Peregrina. Oh man, this case is pretty nice. Check this out. So it comes in this sort of uh, casing here. That's really nice. First time seeing that. I like the matte black on the box as well. Oh man, it kind of got like a Udi sort of vibe. Sweet, fruity, musky, tangy. Got a little, got a little bit of a tang to it. Some citrus is kind of playing around. It has like this Udi vibe. It could be a, a mixture of like some rose. Yeah, it could be a combination of roses or something like that. This smells really good, like a really deep floral, and so a uh, rose floral. So it gives off that oud vibe because roses tend to be present in most oud fragrances. Oh man, it's nice. Kind of got a little bit of a juiciness, a musky tanginess, fruitiness, slight bit of freshness to it as well. Yeah, I mean. Peregrina. This one here is a uh, exit the cling. Oh. Don't know if I've smelled anything from this particular house before. But I have seen all their bottles floating around every here. Okay. Interesting looking sample here. We'll try it out. Nice little spray. It's like I get a Like a musky medicinal floral. Yeah, it's kind of like a musky medicinal floral vibe. It's not too medicinal though. Kind of drops down to like a really smooth, creamy sweetness. But in the beginning, it's like a, a musky, medicinal, floral kind of vibe. Maybe that's some vanilla in there as well. Okay, so what we might do is we might leave these for part two and we might make that the part one. What do you think? We'll come back and we'll visit these as well as this one here, uh, Versace. Once again, Mags, Magtown. Thank you so much. Uh, go check out her channel. I'll drop the link to her Instagram channel, which is Total Fashion Sense, and she features a lot of top notch fragrances uh she doesn't really play when it comes to that fragrance collection she has some really good really good choices some really good picks a very nice person sweet spirit obviously and she took one look at my pathetic face and my pathetic collection was just like god dude i gotta send you some real fragrances and uh so i appreciate you sending these to me thank you so much listen guys uh that is probably going to be it for this video 
like I said, we're not going to edit anything. So just come and kick back and chill. The video is like 35 minutes. <laughs> um, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.